Astronomy is probably the oldest of the sciences. For thousands of years, the human race looked at the night sky with intrigue, wonder, and awe. Out there in space and the distant past lies the answer to our biggest questions regarding the origin of the universe. How it manifested into existence, massive black holes and population three stars, and whether we are alone. In the past few hundred years, human understanding of the universe has leaped forward incrementally with each new technology. Thanks to advanced telescopes such as the James Webb Space Telescope, today we can look back in time to when the universe was less than a billion years old. Mind you, some new evidence from James Webb now points out that the universe might be much older than we thought. And now, behold, a second colossal and powerful telescope is under construction and will do things that can be described only as magical, as it will decipher the most distant parts of the cosmos and take us back in time to the let there be light moment. The 30 meter telescope, TMT, will be so powerful that it will deliver images at infrared wavelengths that are more than 12 times sharper than those of the famed Hubble Space Telescope and four times sharper than James Webb. What is TMT? What are its features and capabilities? And what can we expect from it? Stay tuned for a journey into a one-of-a-kind astronomy mega project. The 30-meter telescope is one of a new class of extremely large telescopes that will allow us to see deeper into space than any other telescope and observe insanely distant cosmic objects with unprecedented sensitivity and detail. Its main feature, the 30-meter diameter prime mirror, will enable observations from ultraviolet to mid-infrared wavelengths with up to 80 times the sensitivity of today's largest telescopes. It features state-of-the-art adaptive optic systems that will eliminate the blurring effects of Earth's atmosphere. Just to put things in perspective for you, it is way more powerful than the Hubble and James Webb telescopes. And of course, picking the right location for this amazing $3.5 billion facility was not easy. For five years, scientists conducted comprehensive site testing campaigns for the new observatory. They had to measure virtually every atmospheric characteristic that affects the performance of telescopes. In the end, it was decided that the site MK13N, which is located on the summit of Mount Mauna Kea in Hawaii, is the ideal location. Not just because it is high above the cloud at 4,207 meters, but also due to various other important factors. Such factors include optical turbulence levels as a function of height, cloud properties and atmospheric transmission, precipitable water vapor, and meteorological parameters such as wind speed, direction, air temperature, solar radiation, and cooling rates of the ground. The TMT is also international with India, China, Japan, Canada, and the USA working collectively on this venture via a consortium of universities and other governmental and non-governmental organizations. Once completed, TMT will be not just the largest, but also the most powerful ground-based observatory in the world and deliver crucial images and data that will advance research in numerous areas. Let's now take a look at the intriguing design and features of TMT. The TMT is a segmented Ritchie Chrétien style telescope and will be housed in a massive domed structure. The total diameter of the dome will be 66 meters, with the total dome height at 55 meters, which is comparable in height to an 18-story building. The total area of the structure is around 1.44 acres with a 5-acre complex. The telescope's structure is designed as an altitude over azimuth mount, which allows the telescope to be relatively compact and provides direct load paths from the telescope down through the structure to the pier and foundations. The Nazmuth platforms that will accommodate the largest instruments that will be mounted on TMT are located 7 meters below the elevation axis. The telescope elevation axis is located above the primary mirror. This enables the articulated tertiary mirror to direct the science light to the instruments. 
Direct drive linear motors curved to match the large radii of the drive arcs will be used to move the telescope in azimuth and elevation. Position feedback will be provided by linear tape encoders while control will be carried out by the Telescope Control System TCS, which will coordinate the telescope structure, optics, science instruments and adaptive optics systems. Because TMT is a large structure, an elevator, an aerial surface platform, stairs and walkways will be included to provide access to all subsystems mounted on the telescope. The primary mirror is made from clear ceram, has a diameter of 30 meters, consists of 462 hexagonal elements, is 4.5 centimeters thick and has a focal ratio of F1. This short focal ratio was chosen to make the telescope compact to cut costs without compromising quality. The reason this colossal mirror is made from 492 hexagonal elements is obvious. No hauling truck in the world can carry such an ultra-heavy, super-sensitive mirror to the top of 4,207 meters high mountain, and even if that was achievable, then a huge heavy-duty crane has to be assembled on top of the mountain to mount it in its place on the structure. Additionally, these segments are more manageable, and if one is damaged, it can be easily replaced. We also forgot to mention that fabricating such an immense mirror is not exactly a walk in the park and can be quite expensive. Each segment has a support system that holds it in position with minimal gravity distortion. 27 thin flexures are attached to the back of the mirror and the weight of the segment is reacted by a wiffle tree pivot system that spreads the load in the correct proportions to minimize the surface shape distortion of the segment. The lateral support which is required when the telescope points towards the horizon is provided by a metallic central diaphragm recessed into the glass. The second mirror is 3.1 meters in diameter and is designed to reflect the light from the primary mirror and convert it to an F15 beam for the science instruments. It will be mounted in a steel mirror cell that contains the axial and lateral supports for the mirror. The mirror cell is held in alignment in the telescope by a hexapod positioning system that can move and tilt the second mirror. The tertiary mirror has an elliptical shape and is 3.5 by 2.5 meters across. This large flat mirror will be located near the center of the primary mirror. It is designed to switch between the various science instruments rapidly and precisely and can track in two axes to keep the beam aligned with the instrument as the telescope changes zenith angle. What really sets TMT apart is its advanced and superior adaptive optics and spectroscopic capabilities that will allow astronomers to explore the cosmos in more detail than ever before. So what can we expect from TMT once it is completed? Before we answer that question, you must know that there is no set date for completion because even though construction started in 2014, Everything was halted in 2015 due to protests by some Hawaiian natives. Recently, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of TMT and thus construction resumed, but no completion date has been announced so far. Anyway, TMT will help in deciphering exoplanets that exist in what is known as the habitable zone. Hence, it just might help us answer big questions, such as whether we are alone in the universe, and whether there are advanced alien civilizations out there. It will also greatly contribute to the emerging realm of new physics by connecting the new frontiers of gravitational wave detection, time domain astronomy, and cosmology such as the basic properties of matter. And of course, it will take us back in time to when the universe was just a baby. And by that, we mean only tens of millions of years old. This period holds the greatest secrets, or rather ultimate secrets, about how existence and reality came about. So rest assured, TMT's adaptive optics and spectroscopic capabilities will allow astronomers to explore all of this and so much more in great detail that will blow your mind. In the end, the advanced capabilities of the TMT will lead to discoveries far beyond what we can envision today. So be prepared to be shocked. Are you a space junkie? What do you think of TMT? Let us know in the comment section. 
Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.